It's Lee WW2DX, Hudson Valley Towers.com, and uh, what we're looking at here is 80 meter four square. You can see the northwest radiator to the right, northeast radiator in the center, and if we pan over here, if you look in between those two trees right there, there's a, the um, southeast radiator is right there. And I'm going to take you up here and show you a little close up of the antenna. It's an area that was cleared out for the project. You can see some wood here. So you can see two of the verticals right there, another vertical right there, and then the one in the back, the southwest vertical. Walk up here. You start seeing some radials here that are already laid down. You can see two verticals there, and here you can see the other two verticals on the left side of the frame and the right side of the frame. You can see Bobby KC2UPN down there working on radials. And here we have vertical here. These are self-supporting DX engineering. You can see the radial plate here and radials are started laying down. Phasing lines. These will be picked up a few inches and bolted to the three inch steel pipe. And I'll show you the center over here. Here's, uh, this is inch and five eighths Heliax. Just I just got done doing the connectors on this. Bring it around here. Okay, here's the box, phasing box for the four square. Here's the inch and five eighths connectors. Just just finished up. There you can see the phasing lines going to each vertical. Right there, and uh, we're at the QTH of N2QV, and um, we're at about 1,400 feet here, maybe 1,420 feet of sea level in the Catskill Mountains. This is the European shot here, and uh, you can see from the clearing in those trees to the right, the land slopes down. Matter of fact just past the truck another 20 feet and it drops a few hundred feet very very rapidly it's pretty tough to even climb it on foot so it's really in beautiful drop off here towards towards Europe <clears throat> and uh, the southeast and uh, our JA we have a little bit of a rise there but nothing big and if you look See if we can see the seven eighths inch. Uh, sorry, seven eighths inch and five eighths runs between this vertical four square array and goes up to a uh, tower that we have in, in the back here. You can see it through the trees. Uh, has an OB eighteen six that was put up in April, and. Uh, you can just see some of the elements in the trees there. Maybe if I come over here a little bit more, we can, we can see. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit there, maybe. You can see it in the tree there. OB 18 6 up on the ridge. It's a beautiful shot. And, um,. Here you go. Here's 80 meter four square. These are DX engineering self supporting verticals. There's no guys. And these are very, very well engineered antennas. I mean, they're just beautiful. Very well built. High quality manufacturing. You can see from these plates how thick these plates are.
And what happens is we have a winch that sets here and then clips into here and just crank it up and just comes right off. Just really nice. Really nice design. And there's the northeast vertical there. So there you have it. There's 80 meter four square. And uh, we're really looking forward to uh, getting this on the air. I think it's going to play very, very well from here. 73, guys, and uh, we'll catch you later. Lee, WW2DX, HudsonValleyTowers.com. Take care.